The inspiration to record the Lim Fantasy Chamber Suite came right after the UK premiere of the Lim Fantasy of Companionship for Piano and Orchestra that was presented by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra at the Cadogan Hall, oh, some two months ago now. Please give a very warm welcome to the co-creator and inspiration of the Lim Fantasy of Companionship for Piano and Orchestra, Susan Lim. It was such a proud moment for the Allen team and for me as we sat captivated, spellbound almost, in a completely sold out performance. The grandeur of uh, our 32 minute cross genre music for film as arranged by Manu Martin for a large orchestra and choir and even a rock band made it perfect for large concert venues. In fact, the CEO of the um, Arts Council of England, Darren Henley, described the performance as nothing short of epic. I came away inspired that the limb fantasy should be enjoyed more widely, reach into smaller concert halls and across different formats to continue the conversation on the future of companionship in an increasingly lonely world that we find ourselves in today. Mark Bebbington proposed a chamber music format centered on piano and accompanied by flute and strings. This would focus on the romantic and emotional midsection of the limb fantasy and bring a more classical character to the forefront. I was immediately excited and shared this idea with composer Manu Martin. It's possible maybe it should be interesting to have less musicians and then, and then to arrange everything to put it maybe a little more emotional. In conversation with both Susan and Manu, um, come up with a, what we called a montage or a poetical montage of the solos, uh, the piano solos in this work, which I, perhaps speaking a little biased as a pianist, I think uh, contain some of the most magical moments in the whole work. So I think we felt it worked very well, just these solo spots. And after the performance, uh, as Susan has already explained, I felt very strongly that although the, uh, there's nothing to beat the full orchestral forces here, nevertheless, having a scaled down version of it for, for chamber ensemble allows the possibilities of a lot more exposure to the work. I think it can get the music out there. And in a way, I think as, as both Manu and Susan have said, it really exposes the music in a new, a much more intimate and poetic way. So you get, for example, what I think is one of the most magical moments in, in the whole piece called um, Timeless. Wonderful, beautiful atmosphere and it's for solo piano so it works extremely well. It's been a while that I love uh, music for string quartets and for me um, the fact that you can hear all the, uh, the players is very interesting because when you have a section you feel the whole section and that the string sound we know but when you hear the player it's different. Um, each player has his own vibration and it brings something very, um, very emotional and very organic. Susan and I and, and Manu, we talked about this a wonderful melody for solo piano and cello. And I said, well, if we're doing this slim down version, we have to have the solo cellist. And it's such a wonderful melody. Let me just play you a few bars.
When I listened to the Lim Fantasy Chamber Suite for the first time, I was surprised by its new form. More subtle, more emotional, an elegant fusion of both classical and contemporary elements. I fell in love with the Lim Fantasy all over again. We are here today in this incredible, historic, and really quite magnificent St. John's Smith Square Concert Hall to record our new, brand new, 13-minute Lim Fantasy Chamber Suite, um, comprising eight tracks centered around the beautiful timeless and bookended by the overture and an evocative rendition of the climactic teleportation. I cannot wait to share this music with the world and I'm absolutely thrilled that it will be released by none other than Signum Classics.